Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are talking about last minute Christmas gifts. I know a lot of you have clicked on this video because you're in that bind. You know, you either forgot to get a Christmas gift or that Christmas gift that you knew was the perfect gift isn't going to get here until sometime in February or March or maybe never, I don't know. But you wanna find something that you can give somebody and it has to be quick and simple and easy. And I have a few ideas. Now some of these are going to depend upon when did you click Click on this video. Uh, this is going up on the Wednesday before Christmas, so sometime in between there and Christmas, maybe even Christmas morning, I don't know. So there are all sorts of different ideas that I can give you, and I'm going to try to do this in some sort of order. We'll see. We'll see how we are with the order thing. But let's start off with the thing which I think lots of people overlook and people really will enjoy, and that is homemade gifts of food. Yes, I did say food. The cool thing about this is if you give homemade gifts of something, something which they may or may not want, that, that can be an issue. But homemade gifts of food are one of those things that are pretty easy to do. You could try chocolate chip cookies. If chocolate chip cookies aren't your thing, you could also try this really cool ginger syrup. Ginger syrup is really easy to make, and you'll notice I have about six inches of ginger, and what I'm going to do is I did not peel this ginger because we are going to strain it. Uh, we're going to strain our whole syrup, so I'm just cutting off anything which I think might be questionable. Then I'm just going to dice my ginger. I'm not going to drive myself crazy by thinking about this as in it has to be a fine dice or it has to be a certain, it has to be perfect. No, it just needs to be diced. Now, you can do this on the stovetop. I've included the recipe down below in the description. So I have a rough dice. I'm putting this into my bread maker because I have a jam setting. Then the easy part. Water. Sugar. I'll put this into the bread maker. Place it on the jam setting and then let it go. Our ginger syrup has gone through the entire process. Now if you're doing this on the oven, you've heated it, you follow the directions. I'm going to take mine out. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. All right. I just have a regular canning jar. 
put my metal strainer on top. No, I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick taste. It's really good. You can put this in your refrigerator, keep it there for about two weeks or so. Last week I did talk about the chocolate candy, the peanut butter, the peanut clusters. I do like to include the jar simply because, you know, a canning jar. Everybody loves a canning jar. You can also do things like I make a mocha syrup. Let's talk about things that you don't have to make. You can very easily give like whole bags of coffee to that person who drinks coffee. Maybe it's just fruit, maybe it's candy, maybe it is something else. But it could be things that you have in your home which when put together make a really cool gift. So let's say you're not into the whole let's make something. Why don't you try doing something which is I think really cool which is giving them a subscription service. Oh uh, everything from HelloFresh we use all the time here, we get that weekly. We have a subscription service for our dog food. We have a subscription service for toilet paper. These t-shirts that I have, they are also a subscription service. Um, there are links down below for everything which I'm talking about. Some of these I mentioned last week. There are all sorts of other subscription services that you can find. Those are really nice and really great. It comes down to the how well do you know the person. Because if you give them something for a, subs a subscription service for something which they are never going to use, that's not really handy. And I'm, I, I said this last week and I will say this again, cash works cash works really well. Why am I not a big fan of giving you a, a gift card to whatever store? Well, because I'm not 100% certain that you're actually going to go to that store and get it. I've had people give me gift cards to places where the nearest one is like 80 miles away. So you have to think strategically. Now a lot of these things you can do a simple printout on the printer of what the gift is and it'll give you codes and that sort of thing where so that way you have something to present them on the day of. Now a lot of times you might be giving the last minute gift like I said from the beginning in conjunction with hey your gift is going to come but here's something so that you have something to open that day. Uh, one of the things which I have been seeing a lot of lately, people are giving gift, search, gift, gift subscriptions to things like uh, streaming services. Hulu, Stars, Disney Plus, those are really nice and those are really wonderful for the person who has that. It's really cool. It's one of those last minute gifts that you can give and usually just involves you getting their email address or that sort of thing. Dog treats make a really nice gift to give to the family that has a dog. I do have a video, click that video, where I did make, I make dog treats. My dog loves my dog treats and it's a really cool gift that you can give people. Uh, one of the things which you can do with that is to give, if you have an extra bowl, give the dog treats a bowl really cool and it's just like wow I wouldn't have necessarily thought about that myself but it is something that we can all enjoy. A uh, gift certificate for a bookstore yeah I really really like that. You can give those all the time. One of the things which I did mention in the last video is giving them uh, the Kindle Unlimited since I read a lot Kindle Unlimited has become a wonderful wonderful thing absolutely love that it is so cool and so wonderful so that'd be a really really nice gift as most of you know I am a plant lover so one of the things which I can say is a lot of people in the last few years have become plant lovers you might consider giving the person who you need to get a last-minute gift to something plant related anything from watering cans to fertilizer to even a plant itself Plants are ready, readily available at this time of year. On that, a word of caution. My word of caution is poncetas are really, really, really finicky. They can be very hard to deal with, those sort of things, so that might not be the plant to get them. Uh, things like snake plant, um, aloe vera, uh, ivy, pothos, those are plants which are really, really nice. Cast iron plant. They are really nice indoor plants that you can give somebody and it's just one of those things where it's just like, hey, here's something that you can have. 
I know that you like plants. Yeah, so if somebody wants to give me some fertilizer, even like dirt, potting soil, I'd be great. Pots. Plant pots are one of those things which can become really, really expensive. So if you want to give some pots like that one, the big one there, really expensive. And that's terracotta. So it's one of those things where these, these things should be readily available where you are. So it's not one of those things where you're going to have to order it and then wonder if it's going to come in, is it going to be broken, but you could probably get them anywhere. They're probably going to be something that's not being shopped heavily right now. And it might be cool. You could even get grow lights and those sort of things because plant people like, they like those sort of things. Before you give a gift, know something about the person that you're giving the gift to. Think about this. Think about that person before you do this. Even though it is a last minute gift, even if it's just one of those things that says, hey, your gift is coming, we just don't have it right now because whatever happened. Here's something that you can open, something that you can have, but enjoy it. And it can be so something so easy, so wonderful. Like I said, even a candy bar, a whole bunch of candy bars all put together in a gift bag. Those are wonderful last minute gifts because it's just something that says, hey, I'm thinking about you, and that's really nice. Uh, you can also do things like oranges, pomegranates, those sort of citrus is wonderful last minute gift that you can give. And they're easy to get, they're not that difficult to find, and it doesn't take a lot of work. And if you have these things already prepared, because you're going to have that person who drops by and you're like, I forgot. I should have gotten that gift. Hopefully I have a backup gift. And yes, yes I am that person. I have backup gifts. You never know. You never know when you might need one. And you can check out my other videos where I show you how you can make things really quickly. And like I said, I focus, try to focus in on things which can be consumed simply because it's not something that they're going to have to store around their house and then figure out what to do with it. Yeah. Well, let me know down in the comments what you thought, and I hope I get to see you again the next time you stop by.